going on collectors optical 20 back for another video so today we're gonna it's not a review because i reviewed this all individually so if you're looking for that you know just search it on my channel however what this is is mostly like buying guides if you are planning to get a, a spider-man you're bored you don't have any marvel or spider-man in your collection maybe this would help you out i'll give you just quick pros and cons by the way three of these guys are still available at big bad toy store the iron spider is not even though it is still somewhat manageable if you buy it on the secondary market uh but it's not readily available in in retailers uh, that's what i'm trying to say here so as you can see if you were just you know if you're just looking at this right now the most i would say traditional spider-man would be the upgraded suit and that's what i would recommend right off the bat for like 250 you get awesome accessories decent amount of articulation so overall this is the spider-man to get however if you you know if you're feeling a bit risky and you want to you want a, another spider-man right because he's he's a popular character i love spider-man that's why i have multiple ones uh you know i'll give you the pro so these are the accessories outside of the hands and the eyes which is standard i'm not even going to include that there so as you saw upgraded to this is the stealth spider-man which has a beautiful base if you're not going to get the deluxe don't even get it at all because without this, the base it's a boring looking figure uh if you like you know the stealth military type go ahead and do so but this base brings it to another level this is the upgraded suit you see the mini drone edith beautiful head sculpt my goodness and that wings right there which is you're probably going to use once so bang for the buck this is 250 with the upgraded you can't beat it you know you already know that i don't need to tell you that now um if you are planning you're kind of you know feeling a little bit you know what i want to post my spider-man this is the way to go which is the homemade suit you can see this big drone right here now you can buy this separately so if you already have the homemade suit from the first movie you don't need to buy this if you want to, if you really want to just buy the drone you get two extra ones and for iron spider it is in a bit unique situation because it does have a light of head sculpt as well as those you know tentacles on his back it does come with a head sculpt as well which is pretty nice so you get all of those and the good news about iron spider is that if you're collecting marvel as well and endgame is one hell of a movie he goes well with that you know with that lineup because of you know the how he looks and all that stuff um definitely i would recommend upgraded suit right now and trust me it's not the most definitive spider-man maybe we haven't even seen one since we know there's going to be a new movie in december however the issue with that is that you know how hot ties is they're going to announce maybe the figure you won't get it for a year or two can you really last that long like for example you don't have a spider-man now right off the bat i'm going to tell you upgraded suit the way to go one of the best figures of this year the amazing head sculpt the amount of accessories you can't go wrong and the price is 250 right? 250 dollars. so go get this the second one be behind this let's say you're feeling you want to spend more on a spider-man i would say the homemade suit would be the best one because of the possibility and the fact that you you know i know we said it before and it became a grail at one point but is it possible that they're gonna you know release him again sure anything's possible at this point but you know it might take a while so if you're looking for his you know like origin suit so to speak from tom holland verse then this will be the way to go and plus the fact that if you are somebody who likes to post their figures you're gonna have a lot of fun with this with this particular figure yes it's a bit higher 266 compared to the upgraded suit which is you know arguably more cheaper but it does have a head sculpt now this one have this beautiful drone so that's working out for you plus it does articulate very well so again you know if that's your if, if that's your thing you can't go wrong with this guy i mean you could use the head sculpt for that uh to this version so that's a plus for you you just need to get a neck so if you want a neck that perfectly matches the skin tone that now you got to get the stealth suit which is i rec will recommend the third one because of the base and the fact that you can get this pretty cheap if you know where to look for like again all these guys are you know available at big bad so if you want to get them just put them on pile of loot if you're not too sure about it you know just, just reserve yours and i would recommend last the iron spire as much as i love this figure in that movie the fact that you're going to get this for around 350 doesn't sit well especially that you have other guys that are cheaper um you know i love endgame but i think i can use the upgraded suit as a stand on for, for that if i really don't have one luckily i do 
uh for the price that he was originally for not too bad but they're 350 you know it's it's a little too much for my taste but yeah that's how i i would rank them i know they're not in the sequence that i normally would but i, I was going more for aesthetic here but yeah this upgraded suit a must have for now you know we don't know what kind of suit he's gonna wear in that movie but to get you by now absolutely fantastic so thank you for watching guys if you like the video hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one